I'm Tom Adler and I'm happy to welcome Bob Hahn here to the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette. Uh, Bob and his wife Ellie are uh, prominent collectors, patrons, benefactors of the art here in Lafayette. Uh, in fact, they have a vast collection of paintings, um, many of them by Indiana artists, in the Hahn House Museum. And they very generously donated over 50 paintings to our permanent collection here at the museum. And we really are thankful, uh, grateful to you for yeah, doing that. Um, the reason for these interviews is to try to document some of the works that are in our permanent collection. And so I thought a nice thing to do might be to look at two or three of the paintings which you gave to us. And I thought I would start with George Aldrich's French Village at Night, because I know that this is one of your favorite paintings. And um, I thought you might comment a little bit about uh, what maybe first attracted you to it, how you acquired it. Well, um, most of the paintings we acquired, we just acquired by keeping our eyes open and finding them. A lot of them came through dealers, a lot of them came through auctions. I can't tell you where that one particular one came from, probably through an auction. Um, it attracted to me because I like, I like kind of pictures that kind of have a mood to them or mm -hmm. a fe feeling, and, and this is a dark, dark moonlight, moonlit piece. Yeah, very somber. And, <laughs> yes. A very somber piece, yeah. and I, I like those kinds of pieces because they, they just have an emotion about them. Uh, uh, what about Aldrich as an artist? Uh, do you know a great deal about him? You probably do know a great deal about him. Well, I know band, some about him. Um, Aldrich was c considered a Chicago and a South Bend artist. Mm -hmm. He spent a lot of time in France okay. and, and drew most of his subject matter from France, uh, Normandy and Brittany. He's famous for painting bridge scenes in Normandy. He's, his, his best work tends to be around uh, water scenes and snow scenes. Okay, and he's, he's more famous areas. for that. There's snow in this piece. Mm -hmm. Um, but he did, he did do a fair number of the uh, moonlit pieces like this. Mm -hmm. In uh, heavy contrast or high contrast to Aldrich's work, uh, we have one by um, Edward Will Edmund Williams, which is uh, simply called uh, Impressionist Landscape. It's uh, very, very colorful. Um, the texture is very interesting. The way that he applied the paint is, is very, very interesting. Um, but I understand that it's not really all that typical of Williams's work as an artist. No, it isn't. Uh, Williams started out in Wisconsin. He moved to Indiana in, in like 1926 or so. Um, but he's more known for painting very nice impressionistic uh, landscapes, sometimes with people in them, mostly built buildings, almost mm -hmm. always buildings. And, and they're, they're the um, purples and pinks and light blue kind of hues and not, mm -hmm. not this more contrasty color. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, have, I have wondered, since I've seen that painting, if that was a painting that he painted as an experimental painting that mm -hmm. wasn't meant to, that, that he was just trying to see what he could do, mm -hmm. or, or whether it was something he considered one of his mm -hmm. you know, body of works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the way that he's painted the sky is quite astounding, in fact. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you saw one of his regular pieces side by side with this one, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. They're, okay. just, they're in stark contrast to each mm -hmm. other. They're, you wouldn't even think they're the same artist, hardly. Uh, finally, we picked out one uh, by Randolph Coates, um, which when we put on display has been very, very popular with our museum goers here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, because it's not exactly an Impressionist painting, I don't think. It, um, I, I don't think it is either. It's probably popular because, number one, the scene, mm -hmm. when, when you get a mountain stream coming down through the mountains, that's okay. always fun to do. Um, Coates was a Richmond artist and, and towards the last half of the last century, so he was after that that primary Richmond group mm -hmm. of Bundy and, and Baker and on those people. Um, but he was a good artist, he, he taught a lot, and he also painted portraits of some of the governors. So he was a well-known, well-respected artist. And you have one of his pretty much like this. We have one collection. like that, it's a little bit larger. The scene's not exactly the same, but it's the same mountains, and, and there is a stream in it. And so mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we, we thought it would be nice to, for the museum to have one, because we didn't necessarily need two. And so we, that's why we, we gave that one to the okay. museum. Uh, finally, I was wondering if you could uh, comment a little bit about uh, when you decided to give so many paintings to the museum, um, did you feel you were giving a coherent group of paintings or a group of paintings that were representative of your own larger collection? I mean, how did you make the choice? Well, we did it over like a two or three year period. So we did, we did you know, quite a few each year. Um, really, what, our goal was not to, to make it a coherent collection. Our goal was to, to, to make each piece be worthy of being in in the museum and something that would be um, nice for the museum to have. So, but but most of them are pieces where we've had several of that artist 
-hmm. and then and then we would release one of the pieces mm -hmm. to the museum here. So in in effect, it kind of mirrors our collection in that mm -hmm. sense. Any any piece we gave you, we've also we've also got yeah. in our collection. Okay. Well, thanks again very much for being such generous benefactors of the museum and for uh, talking with me this okay. afternoon. Yeah, I enjoyed being here. Thank you, Tom.